The unique thing about Calvary is that it's trying to address cancer as a worldwide problem, and almost nobody else is. So I keep this article from Nature Magazine on my door as an inspiration every day because they said that trying to create a preventative vaccine was misguided coal and it created false hopes in people for a vaccine. We didn't believe that and we kept going anyway. I'm an inventor and when I looked at the field of cancer I thought it was in dire need of some invention and so we thought the best thing to do was to invent a vaccine to prevent cancer in the first place and that's what we set out to do. I'm Stephan Albert Johnston. I'm CEO of Calvary, Inc. My name is Terrence O'Neill. I'm the Director of Operations for Calvary. Calvary's mission is to end deaths from cancer, and that's exactly why I joined. I've had family members that have passed away from cancer, so definitely want to make a difference in that field. And traditionally, most of the cancer community want to treat cancer. We want to eradicate it. We don't see a world where cancer is necessary at all. Calvary started out to develop a vaccine to prevent cancer, first in dogs and then in people. Along the way, we discovered that we could also create a diagnostic to pick up cancer very early. These wafers, they're actually what sets us apart because we can put millions of peptides on these wafers and no other company can do that. So this allows us to do the research necessary to find the targets, the Achilles heel of cancer. Cancer is particularly a good area for comparative oncology between dogs and people. Dogs get many of the same cancers that people do. The cancers look alike and they act alike. And in fact, at the core, or in the molecular level, where we are finding the components for our vaccines, they are very, very similar and overlap a lot. The biomedical field in Arizona has definitely been growing thanks to a lot of organizations, uh, AZ Bio being one of them. Right from the beginning, uh, the director of AC Bio has been a big advocate for us, has, has also provided us advice on the development of our products and interacting with investors. And more recently, the Phoenix Bioscience Corps has been a very good uh, friend of us in terms of providing us information and meetings and, and connections to other people in the centers.